Hello guys and welcome to another game drop video. Today I'm bringing you another tips and tricks video for the Warzone game mode on Modern Warfare. And today we're going to be looking at the settings in Modern Warfare because I know there's been a lot of controversy with the cross-platform play so these settings will help the console players and PC players as well but mostly for the console players playing on controller. So the first tip is looking at the minimap shape. You can see the default is set to round, um, but you can change this to square, and this actually gives about a 20% more visibility on the minimap. You can see there's some corners there that you can't actually see if you were to have the circle, and by doing this you can see a lot further in terms of the red dots that are flashing up and enemies in the close vicinity, so I would recommend turning this over to square. It makes it much easier to see enemies close by. Secondly, I know a lot of players will be used to using the controller vibration enabled. This is enabled by default, but if you disable this, I think it makes it much easier to focus on your target and make accurate shots when shooting at enemy players in Warzone. I think a lot of people will think this isn't worth it, but if you turn it off and give it a try, I can guarantee you'll be hitting your shots a lot better. It's a lot easier to concentrate. So this for me is something that's worth disabling in the settings. Another setting I wanted to look at was the use slash reload behavior. By default this is set to tap to reload, but if you change this to contextual tap, this actually means that when you're looting, opening doors and pretty much any action in the game, you can actually just tap to pick up items instead of having to hold it each time. Um, it seems like a small thing, but by changing this you will be a lot quicker looting and taking out pretty much any action in the game which considering how fast the Warzone gameplay is it will definitely be a massive advantage if you change this to contextual tap give it a go I can guarantee you'll be looting buildings a lot quicker and you'll get the edge on people similarly the slide behavior is by default set to hold but you can change this to tap which will make it much easier to slide in and out of cover Anyone who's any good at Warzone is always making the most of the slide mechanic. Sliding in and out of cover makes you a lot harder to hit. So if you change this to tap, it'll be much easier to use and you'll be using it much more often to your advantage. Another setting I wanted to look at is the auto move forward. Again, this is disabled by default, but if you enable this, you can push the movement stick twice and this will make you move in that direction automatically. This will make it much easier if you're running away from the gas and you need to drop your teammates any ammo or armor plates you can just focus on doing this rather than having to hold the stick forward a little tip that's definitely worth using so i would recommend changing the auto move forward to enabled and using this in game another tip i think this is a big one that i used in multiplayer before i started playing warzone is the world motion and weapon motion blur. By default this is enabled and I think it makes a more cinematic experience but if you disable this it'll make it much easier to see enemies in the distance. It does look good but when you play in Warzone especially with such big maps I think you should turn this off and you will be able to spot players much easier in the distance and you'll be less likely to miss any targets. So again, I recommend disabling world motion blur and weapon motion blur. Finally, I wanted to mention something on the stick sensitivity. This is something a lot of players will change in Call of Duty. I think the higher sensitivity you can get used to playing with, the better. This makes it easy to spin round and react to shots. Um, the compromise is that a lot of players will turn it up too high and sacrifice their accuracy. However, by using the ADS sensitivity multiplier, you can have a high sensitivity whilst lowering the aim down sight sensitivity to, to improve your accuracy. So for example, I use seven uh, stick sensitivity, and if you turn the aim down, aim down sight sensitivity to 0.5, this will effectively turn the sensitivity into a 3.5 when you're aiming down sight and taking shots so it makes it much easier to keep your accuracy especially at greater distances so what I actually do myself is have a stick sensitivity to 7 and an ADS sensitivity multiplier to 0.85 
which just lowers that slightly when I'm aiming down sight and taking shots from distance. So have a little play with some of these settings, find out what works for you. These are just a few things which I think will give you an advantage when you're playing Warzone, so give them a go. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. If you're watching this video and you're not yet subscribed, please make sure to subscribe for similar tip videos in the future and a lot more content on my channel. Make sure to check it out. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video.